So you want to duplicate a sheet or template every single week on a particular day. Let's do this. We have a template. It's just sales for the week. We're going to create an app script. If you don't know where that is, go to extensions app script and it will bring up this app script editor. We'll create a function called create new template. We can name this anything we want. Here we'll create a variable called sheet name. We need to name the sheet something. We're probably going to want to call it something like the date. Do utilities dot format date. We'll format the date as this today. We need another variable up here called variable today equals new date. Then we're going to add a time zone. I'm just going to do GMT plus six. You can put any time zone you're in there. And we're going to name this MMMD. This is just the three first letters of the month and the day. That's whatever the day is that it's going to be created. Now we need to create another variable, ss equals just the spreadsheet that we're on, spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Now we want to take the sheet that we're on, get sheet by name. In this case, it's going to be called template. We're going to copy to the same spreadsheet. Once we copy it, we're going to set name. We're going to set the name to the sheet name variable that we did up here. So whatever this formatted date is, it's going to be five characters, the first three letters of the month and the date, five or six characters. We're going to save this. And in order to do this every single week, we're going to need to create a trigger. But let's test it first. We're going to hit run. It's going to ask us to authorize. Once we authorize, it'll work. We can go check our template and there it is. Our template exists still. And now we have November 12th. Today is the 12th of November. Now we're going to go over to the left, click triggers, and we're going to click add trigger. It's on the bottom right. Here we'll choose the function to run, create new template. For now, it's the only function in our spreadsheet. Select event source. We're going to change this to time driven. And instead of our timer, we're going to do week timer. We're going to select whatever day of the week we want it to be created. Sometimes we'll want it created at the beginning of the week, so Monday before everyone comes in. Sometimes we'll want to create it on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, depending on maybe we have a meeting that this needs to be created by, or end of day Friday, or even over the weekend sometimes. Some people work late on Fridays. Whenever you need to create this. Remember, the name will be the day. So let's create it every Monday, and let's create it 4 to 5 a.m., so before anyone comes in, and if there's any errors here, it'll send me an email or I'll be able to see the error and I'll be able to fix it in the morning on Monday if this trigger doesn't happen. We'll hit save. If you didn't authorize before, it'll ask you to authorize once you save it. And here you'll be able to see the error rate and click the three dots on the right side. And here you can delete the trigger, click the pencil icon and edit it in any way you want to. Maybe you want to change the day or the time that this is being created. But yeah, it'll be created now every week on a Monday. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets than you ever have before, consider subscribing here on YouTube on Better Sheets.